All right, so we're continuing from the overhook close guard, and we're going to do technique number two, which is uh, when they defend technique number one, which is a, a, a choke called the lawnmower choke. Uh, Garth Taylor used to call it, you pull on their collar like you're starting a lawnmower. I'll show that again, then I'll show you this, the reaction and how you kind of, it kind of uh, leads into the, to the straight arm lock. Okay, so here we go. Let's get back a little bit though. Okay. So my close guard, I get my overhook. You can go here. This, this hand breaks the posture. This hand overhooks. Okay, and I start with keeping the hand on the head. I tap my toe on the floor just a tiny little bit to get on my ribs, not flat on my back. And I go for the quote unquote long over choke. I start choking. To get away, to get out of the choke, she leans her head away from me, but she leaves her arm behind. And when her arm, her head goes away, her arm straightens. So there's a couple ways to do this. One thing I like to do is make a little, little platform right under her shoulder girdle. My elbow's on the floor. So she can't put her arm her shoulder lower. Try to put her arm down lower. It had to break through my uh, my bone. She can't. Okay. Now I'm gonna let go of this. I'm gonna slide back, and I'm gonna my chicken wing arm is gonna find her knuckles. I go palm down and I rotate in to palm up, like this. So I have her arm really in position. I still have my clothes guard. I'm gonna open up slightly, and my feet. One foot goes on her hip bone, on this front of her hip bone, on the front of her left hip. And then one goes on the back of her, like the back of her hips, kind of the back of her right hip. That way I can bridge off my feet. And that is what causes the arm bar, okay? My arms, I just hold it into place, and my bridge makes the tap. My knees pinch, my elbows pinch, and I bridge off the hips, okay? Her elbow is pointing down, her thumb is pointing up, okay? That's important. So when I grab this arm, and this technique is the same for when you do, I do the same technique, the straight arm lock with butterfly guard too, okay? So my arm is holding down. I call this a chicken wing. That way it's over her knuckle line. Try to turn your thumb down. Here, so if I'm over her, her hand, make your hand flat, turn her thumb down, she can't. If I go here, she can still turn her thumb down. That's why it's important to find, so I'm here close, I have to scoop back to find the knuckle line. Now this is an important component as well. You kind of like rotate like you're opening a door kind of, but palm down, my thumb is like a hook. It hooks in like this. I'm twisting her elbow inwards towards her ribs like that. And this hand's gonna be here, but I, you know, this hand is just uh, almost optional, okay? And from here, I'll get my feet here, I'll drop my hips up into here. You wanna really, this hand, this arm is closed down, this elbow glues to my ribs and here, so it's all connected. So when I bring my hips forward, my hips go forward because my elbow is glued to my ribs, almost glued to my hips, it kind of lifts her, okay? So it's not just loose here, it's not like this. My elbow is glued to my ribs so that when I can go forward my hips, it makes her, it pushes the pressure into their elbow joint, okay? Okay, so I have the overhook, I go for the choke, notice how I get on my side. It all works better if I'm gonna shrimp out a little bit. She pulls her head away, shoulder. I wanna really rotate her elbow inwards. So I go palm down to palm up, feet climb up, pinch crazy tight, and bridge. Elbow down, hips forward. She pulls away, head here, here. Make sure that she cannot turn her elbow up and her shoulder down. Now, that's gonna have obvious negative ramifications for her. It's gonna put her in more jeopardy, which will be the next technique, the umplata, okay? But I wanna to try to lock her elbow. Her thumb is up towards my armpit. Here, here, feet here, pinch, and bridge. My whole body is bridging up against her elbow. And this is the most important part. You got to immobilize her wrist. I go chiggling down on her knuckle line Try to turn the thumb down, and I add it to this rotation inwards. Here, and here, finish. Some people can do an arm lock like this, but I find that that almost always, because it's so hard to have tactile sensitivity with my forearm, almost always she can bust out of that and turn her arm down, which is fine, because that leads me directly to technique number three, which is the mobile 